Maybe you've heard about prompt engineering, but have you heard how it can help you with Copilot and SSMS? Learn all about it this week on Data Exposed MVP Edition. Hi, I'm Anna Hoffman, and welcome to this episode of Data Exposed MVP Edition. Today, I'm joined by Retza, who is an MVP in the community. And before we get started, can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Yeah, so my name is Reitze. Uh, I'm working for a company called Actions, and the most things I do uh, is helping customers get the most out of their data platform, whether it's SQL Server, whether it's Microsoft Fabric, or uh, the Azure Stack. Okay, awesome. That's great. You're a great person to have on the show, especially when we're talking about Copilot in SSMS. And I know there's been a lot of buzz, of course, across the world about Copilots and, and using these prompting things to get better results at whatever it is that you're doing. Um, but specifically, I think today you're going to walk us through how to do it with SQL and maybe Azure SQL. And so, yeah, I, I would love to learn more. Let's get right into it. Thanks so much, Anna. So before we getting started, uh, let me set a little bit of the context and uh, what we're talking about today. So first, I'm going to use two databases called MVP Demo 1 and MVP Demo 2. And those databases were created by Copilot. So I just asked Copilot to create a database for me or two databases for me with some tables, uh, some columns, and a little bit of data, 10 rows for each database, just to get a basis to work from. I didn't have to create, uh, write all the create scripts. Copilot did it for me. All I had to do was run the code and be done with it. So the second thing I want to emphasize is that writing the correct prompts is a skill. You need to keep going at it, keep doing it, hone your skill. And creating small databases like this one, these ones really helps you in honing that skill because there's a little bit of data in there. So it's very easy to check if the results are correct. And you can learn to create the better prompts. So let me try the first one because I'm interested um, in sales revenue. So I'm going to use this prompt where I'm going to ask Copilot using MVP Demo 1 and MVP Demo 2, what are the sales over uh, 2024 and 2025? Now, as you can see, my um, Copilot is telling me which query window it's connected to. In this case, it's connected to prompts.sql, this one, and it shows me also which database it's connected to. If we're in the wrong database, it will give either an error or tell you, I can't help you because I can't find these tables or um, the information you're looking for. So when I'm running uh, the first prompt, it's going to think, it's going to process, process, and give me a result. But this is not the result I'm looking for because, yeah, first execute on both databases, return no results for sales data. I know it's in there. So my prompt isn't uh, correct. So the last time I tried this, it gave me the number of sales. So it gave me the, the value of 20 because there were 10 rows in MVP demo one, 10 rows in MVP demo two. This case gives me a different result because we're working with AI. So let me rephrase the question and tell it again. I want a total value of the sales. Let's see what it can come up with. Because now I'm telling it, give me the value. Again, it said, uh, says no result. I know it's in there. So let me try something different now. I want to use, uh, I want to get the results or the value of my sales. And you can cal calculate the value for each sales from the products table using the price column. So in my products table, there's a column called price, and the price got values in them. So now I'm actually telling Copilot, look here. The, the information is there. So when I'm going to run this one, it can start thinking again, getting column definitions, sales, and all of a sudden, you can see values coming up. This is what I was looking for, almost. Because I wanted a query as well. So but what I'm going to do now is see if I can get Copilot to create a query for me that will do cross-database querying. Because now I've got a result right here. But this is not really something I can present to management or whoever uh, is interested in the information. So I'm going to run, uh, use this query. And it says, write a query to calculate the total sales value across MVP Demo 2, 1 and MVP Demo 2 for 2024 and 2025. Now, there's a little bit of a disclaimer here. Let me start it and let me tell you what the disclaimer is. I didn't write the prompt. What I did 
is ask Copilot, write me a prompt that will give me this result. So I'm asking Copilot, what would be the prompt that would return to me the information that I'm looking for? So I don't have to think about this myself. I can just ask Copilot what kind of prompts will work. I got three different options. This was the one that gave the result that I was looking for, because now I have a query created by Copilot in SSMS that's going to do a select on my MVP uh, uh, one database, MVP demo one database, and it's going to do a query on MVP demo two database. So it's giving me the full qualifier with the database name and returning a query that I can actually use and uh, build upon. So this is a great way to learn how to get to the right prompt, just by trying a little data set and slowly building it out. That's awesome. I, I feel like in, in learning how to create better prompts. Yeah, I feel like it helped me a lot. Uh, a couple things, if I kind of try to summarize what I've seen and learned. One, uh, the context of the database that you're in for the query window really matters because that's yep. kind of the jumping in point for the Copilot service. Now, it does look like it was able to go to other databases, but it needs that kind of one of them to be the starting point. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah and then that's right. The other thing that I learned is, you know, the more specific you can be, and sometimes it needs some helpers. It doesn't know necessarily if there's a bunch of tables, which one. So you told it the products table. Um, so the more specific you can be, the more you can uh, kind of set set it up for success. And this makes sense. Like even in school, if you think about like teaching children or something, like the more specific you can be in the the instructions, the more likely you are to get the outcome uh, that you want. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Um, well, I learned a lot. I think our viewers probably did too. I think probably the call to action is just start playing with this, right? Do you have any other tips or tricks or advice? Um, yeah. Well, the thing is uh, what you said, uh, start playing with it uh, on data that you know or small data sets that you can check. That's that's the most important part. And um, yeah, if, if it's data that you know from a large database, it's fine because you know what you're supposed to get in, re uh, in return from the query. Love it. Awesome. Cool. Well, if you are watching this video and you like this episode, go ahead, give it a like, leave us a comment, and let us know what you're using Copilot in SSMS for and any feedback that you might have. Uh, we'll put some links in the description for you to learn more, and we hope to see you next time on Data Exposed.